Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown, CTO at Elasticity. Today, I'd like to walk you through how to make use of the MITRE Attack Navigator. So what is the MITRE Attack Navigator? Well, it's an open source tool designed to help users explore and use the attack knowledge base of tactics and techniques. Today, we're going to have a look at two different groups uh, that being APT3 and APT29. What we're going to do is we're going to compare the techniques used by the two different groups and see where they actually overlap. If you'd like to find out more about attack and its uses, here's a useful URL for you. So I'm going to switch into the attack navigator. You can find the attack navigator by going to the URL in the browser bar at the top and once you put that URL in you'll arrive at uh, a page that looks like this. What happens is, is the navigator works in layers so I'm going to start off with my first layer which I'm now going to edit and I'm going to call my first layer APT3. I now want to go along and I want to use the multi-select tool to select the techniques used by APT3. So scroll down to APT3, click on select, and what I'd now like to do is I'd like to assign a color to these. Now I can do this in two ways. I can either go over to my color controls over here and choose background color, or I can assign some scoring to this. I'm going to do it by assigning a score of one. What does that mean? Well, if I go into my scoring over here, I'm going to turn on the uh, background color, and what happens is, is I can define the actual score low value there and the score high value over here of three. To make the score away, click back on that. You'll see that's now colored at red because that was the color selected for the low value. So there's that layer finished. Let me create a second layer, and I'll go here, say create new layer, go back in here, and edit this and call this APT29. And I'm going to repeat and do exactly the same thing I did for APT3. Go to multi select, choose the techniques of APT29. I'm then going to go into my color setup, turn on my background, choose. I want to go between one and three over here. You'll see why I'm using between one and three on the next layer. And I'm going to assign a scoring, but this time I'm going to assign a score of two. So once I have finished doing the scoring, what I'd now like to do is create a third layer. And it's in this third layer that I'm going to combine the information from our first two. You'll notice up the top here that that layer has been called A, this one B. So when I add an expression here, it's A plus B. That's all I need to put in there. I go create this layer. And notice it's got all the techniques in used by both APT3 and APT29. So how do I separate this out? What I do is I go into my color setup again, and I put in my scoring between one and three, and what you'll now notice is I happen to have the colors shown by APT3 in red, the colors shown by APT29 in yellow, and those that overlap by uh, green. What I can now do is I can either save this layer as a JSON, I can export it to Excel, or I can render to SVG and use this in a presentation. So that was just a quick overview of how to use the MITRE Attack Navigator. What I'd like to ask is uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like the video.